What's up, y'all? It's Jeffrey Beck here at Flippin' Profit, where we create financial freedom one flip at a time. If you're new to this channel, basically, I resell stuff on eBay. I have multiple different sources like uh, thrift stores, yard sales, uh, even flea markets, and just, you know, some connections through families and friends and stuff like that that um, I get items that uh, buy low and sell high on eBay. And so what we're gonna be looking at today are the top 20 items that I sold in the month of November. So if this is the type of content you were looking for and enjoy, then please hit that like button and uh, let's get into the video. All right, so the first thing we're gonna take a look at is this uh, Bulwark Flame Resistant Shirt. It's a, a men's size medium and it sold for $29.77. I can't remember exactly what thrift store I found this at, but I'm pretty sure I only paid $2.35 for it. So um, yeah, any flame resistant workwear sells for very high resale value and uh, is great stuff to pick up. And so just to continue with that theme, I also have some Ariat work pants. Um, these are flame resistant pants as well. You can see I took a best offer of $40 for them. So um, I think I only paid at least four or five bucks for these. Uh, picked them up at a thrift store. Um, they were in really good condition. And yeah, like I said, this flame resistant stuff has very good resale value to it. As you can see, I got 40 bucks for a pair of jeans, so you can't beat that. And next up is this Super Scope. It's a um, like an add-on for the Super Nintendo or a uh, controller, something like that. It's this uh, special controller for the um, Super Nintendo and stuff like that. Got this for free, actually, from a family member that uh, I pick up some stuff from a thrift store and uh, took a best offer of $30. I think I had it originally listed for about $35, something like that. So um, it was a little bit difficult to uh, ship because it was very long, but um, wasn't very heavy at all. And uh, it went for a good price, so uh, that's why it's in the top 20. Next up is this Soda Stream Fizzy Sparkling Water uh, Maker Kit thing. It was brand new in the box. I picked this up at a yard sale for, um, I think, five bucks or something like that. It was uh, brand new, never been used, so I sold it as that for um, $64.77. Uh, that's with free shipping. All of this stuff that you're going to see on here is with free shipping. But yeah, this had some uh, really high margins on it, and uh, we made some pretty good profit. Next are these Vintage Parker um, Permanent Blue Black Quink or it's uh, basically ink for like the old school feather pens you know that you like take your pen and dip it in the ink and then write with it it's uh, that type of ink uh, found these four never been used um, I don't know what you'd call them little ink glasses or ink cartridges I guess uh, but yeah brand new never been used and I put them up as a lot and uh, they sold for $49.77 so Pretty good deal there. Like I said, I found these at a thrift store. I think I paid like two bucks for them. Uh, I think they had them marked for four dollars, but they were half off, so I only paid two bucks a piece. So eight bucks into fifty is a pretty good profit. Next up are these Nike Air Jordan Seven Retros. These shoes were in very good condition, as you can see, they still had the original box and stuff with them. I forget exactly how much I had them listed for. I think around $130, but went ahead and took a best offer of $115 with free shipping and uh, shipped them out, man. Made some pretty good profit on those as well. Next up is a DVD VCR recorder by Sanyo. Got this at a recycling event not too long ago. I'm sure some of you saw that video. And um, yeah, sold it for $49.77. It only came with AV cables. Didn't have a uh, remote to go with it or any blank VHS tapes or anything like that. So only sold the uh, device itself with some AV cables. Uh, free shipping on that and uh, still made some good profit. Next up is another item that came from the recycling event. This is a Cisco Gigabyte Ethernet Smart Switch. Uh, don't get me explaining what that does, but either way, um, looked up the comps on these things. They were selling for pretty good money. And since it was in good condition, I went ahead and listed it for $49.77 with free shipping. And somebody bought it full price. So can't complain about that. Next up are some women's Alpine Stars motorcycle gloves. I picked these and a pair of men's gloves up at a yard sale. I think I paid like five bucks a piece for them. Um, I forget. I think the men sold for around $35. But uh, had these listed for around, I think the same thing, around 35 but they've been sitting there for a while, so when somebody came through with an offer of 25 I went ahead and took it. And like I said, they were just uh, black leather motorcycle gloves for um, women, and they were in very nice condition, so uh, we made a pretty good flip. Next up is another item from the recycling event. This is the Polaroid camera that I pulled out of there. Um, it was actually in pretty decent condition, and I've sold plenty of these, and they sell very quickly, so... 
Got this one listed. It sold within like the next day or two for $28.77. That's what I was asking with uh, free shipping and um, once again, made another good flip. Next up, more items from the recycling event. This is a lot of eight um, Dell AC adapters. Uh, went ahead and lotted them up since they were all the same model number and stuff. And yeah, sold them for $49.77 with free shipping. Um, I'm pretty sure I got those to fit in a regional rate box B and it cost about 15 bucks to ship. Made some pretty good margins on that. Didn't pay a thing for them, so um, nothing but profit. Next up is this old school Radio Shack shortwave receiver. It's basically like a communication radio. You can like get on different airwaves and talk to people like all over the world and stuff. I paid $30 for it at a garage sale. It came with the two books that uh, help you understand how to use the radio and stuff. Um, I think I had it listed for around $180 and went ahead and took a best offer for $160 with free shipping and uh, man, made some really good profit on that. Like I said, only paid $30 for it at a yard sale. And uh, man, it's crazy the stuff you find at yard sales sometimes. And this thing was in such good condition. Uh, I looked up the model number right there on the spot at the yard sale and saw that they were selling for around, you know, $160 to $180. Bucks. So, Went ahead and picked it up and made a good flip. Next up, another item from the recycling event. This is a vintage Montgomery Ward boombox, uh, radio cassette recorder, eight track player. It had a bunch of different functions to it. Um, listed it for, I think, about 60 or 65 bucks and went ahead and took a best offer of $55. And that offer came in very fast. Within a couple days or so, I had it sold and shipped out and made some more money. Next up is this Power Wheels um, Toddler 6 volt rechargeable replacement battery with the charger. Um, I can't remember if I found this at a yard sale or not. I I think I did. I had another one recently just like, or it was uh, just the charger, and I'm getting both of those confused. I can't remember. One of those I pulled out of the uh, recycling vent, and one of them I found at the yard sale. But either way, this thing sold for $23.77 with free shipping, and it was very small. I was able to just wrap it in some bubble wrap and stick it in a flat rate envelope. So uh, shipping didn't cost a thing and uh, made some pretty good profit. Next up is a Guitar Hero controller. Um, this I did find at a thrift store. I was actually out of town down south in Baton Rouge and found this at a thrift store and I think I believe, yeah, I paid five bucks for it. And it is the kind that has the disconnecting neck. That's the only kind that I'll pick up because they're easier to ship. They're a lot, it makes the box a lot smaller and that saves you on shipping. Anytime you get some with the where the neck doesn't disconnect the shipping is going to be outrageous so i just don't bother with those at all and uh, this one was a little bit higher price it had the uh, aerosmith uh face plate on it and it sold for 39 dollars 77 with free shipping and uh, yeah it doesn't get any better than that pretty good profit on these um guitar hero guitars that's why you see me selling them a lot <laughs> Next up are these Motorola scanners that we sold here recently in an auction. Um, got these at the recycling event as well. Didn't pay a thing for them. If you guys haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out and leave a thumbs up. But yeah, we got five uh, Motorola handheld scanners with two charging docks and the power supplies that go to those charging docks. I hooked them all up, tested them a little bit. They seem to work great and uh, put them on auction started the uh, auction at 99 cents with free shipping and that's so it would get uh as much views and stuff like that that it could possibly get and um yeah by the end of the week it sold for 239 dollars and 50 cents so really big margins on that next up i got this kenwood remote from the recycling event as well man there's a lot of big items big ticket items that came out of that event it was uh it, it was best haul ever most likely but um we got this kenwood remote um very co it was compatible with a bunch of different receivers there were lots of other ones just like it comps going on ebay for around 25 bucks so listed mine for 24.77 with free shipping and it sold within a few days can't beat that next up is this uh panasonic dvd recorder it actually records DVDs and stuff like that. Didn't have a remote or anything to go with it. I did add some AV cables with it. Those are the uh, audio video cables to uh, hook the device up to your TV. Listed it for $55.77 with free shipping and somebody bought it full price. So it made some more profit there. Next up is this, uh, I don't even really know how to pronounce the name of it, Onkyo. But um, it's a receiver, stereo receiver with the remote. Um, I forget where I got this exactly. I think I got it from my uh, thrift store 
uh, friend that uh, gives me some free electronics sometimes. I did test it out and got it working and it works very well and listed it for $99.77 with free shipping and sold it full price. It did take a while. It sat on the shelves for a few months. Uh, I did get some offers at times too, some you know lowball offers or whatnot, but eventually it sold full price, so I uh, can't complain about that. And last but not least, these are some Jerbode pants. Uh, just recently picked these up in a thrift store video, and I was going on and on about uh, when I find these, I do get excited because they hold very high resale value and they sell very quickly. So if you go back and look, it was just a few weeks ago when I picked these up. And sold this pair for $38.77 with free shipping. And here's a bonus for the top 20. That was 20 items. But we're going to go ahead and show you this second pair that sold for $42.77. So got exactly what I was asking for on both pairs. I want to say I paid uh, 5 to 6 bucks for them. But either way, made some very good profit on those. And uh, like I said, keep your eyes out for those Jabot pants. or good pickup and so there you go that is my top 20 what sold for the month of november it was a very good month very profitable month and as you can see a lot of stuff came from that electronics event i can't thank those guys enough they really helped us out on this one it's really going to make christmas go a lot smoother this year and uh help me get through the holidays without breaking the bank if you know what i mean yeah so shout out to washita green once again for putting that event on and uh having me and my dad out there can't thank those guys enough and yeah been killing it lately let's just keep that momentum going and and uh, hope you guys are having some really good sales too. But yeah, it's been a real profitable month this time around. So um, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more big flips. If you're new to my channel and you want more tips on how to sell on eBay, then check out some of my playlists. Also, if you're new to reselling and you want some shipping supplies on the cheap cheap, check out my affiliate links down in the description. If you purchase something through one of those links, I do make a small commission on it and it directly helps support the channel. So I really appreciate it. Thanks to each and every one of you for watching my videos and until I see y'all next time, keep flipping.